Hey there. So I'd like to talk about injured feet and specifically injured soles of feet. Um, if you're a runner, weightlifter, uh, cyclist, often end of your feet, uh, the sole of your foot gets injured. It's called plantar fasciitis. If that's you, watch this video. I got some good tips. Maybe it can help you uh, recover from chronic or long-term injury here. My name is Dougal and I use Chinese medicine techniques and other known mainstream approaches to figure out and help uh, athletes, yogis, runners, cyclists, weightlifters, and other high impact uh, sport um, pro and amateur um, um, competitors, how to work with their body as they age into their 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. So here we go, plantar fasciitis. Plantar is where you, this place is where you plant your foot on the um, floor as you run or walk or jog or whatever you're doing. And sometimes this can get very, very tight. You can even um, pull the tendons of the muscles right down the bottom of your feet. And um, the medical uh, term for this injury gives away right away what is the issue, plantar tendonitis or plant, plantar fasciitis. It's not a muscular, strictly speaking, thing. It's a fascial or a tendon problem. And in my experience and the way that I work, this is where most injury is. And so many approaches to fixing injury actually will talk about strength conditioning and, and all of these kind of things. So if you, if you have uh, knee issues or shoulder issues, they'll talk about strengthening muscles around the knee or strengthening stuff around the shoulder. And that's good. That might fix the problem. But there's a whole other area of tissue, fascia, tendons, there are also ligaments and joint tissues. And all of these names give away the fact that they are a different whole type of tissue compared to the stretchy elastic uh, stuff which, um, which most of us focus our workouts on. All of these tissues are structural tendons in the most obvious or the layman's kind of way of understanding these tie muscles to bones. They're rope-like structures. Fascia creates uh, shape and creates spaces for other organs uh, to be inside or other tissues to be inside. And when it itself gets injured, in this case, when the tendons of the foot get injured, you need a totally different approach and you need to break almost all of the rules of recovery for working with this type of tissue. This tissue doesn't respond well to muscular workouts and it doesn't respond well to all of the rules of muscular workouts and using ideas like strength conditioning, etc., just don't make any sense at all for this tissue. So I'm gonna propose, um, it looks like a super simple um, little uh, approach to working with plantar fasciitis. But here's the thing, here's the, here's the key. This type of injury, and if you're watching me to here a couple minutes in, you know this doesn't go away. It doesn't go away easily. It doesn't go away after massage or a couple of days or even a couple of weeks, even a couple of months of work. An injury here can take a long time to slowly work through because these tissues are structural. They're not muscular tissue, which you can just essentially uh, work out, put a load of blood to, and they, and they very quickly recover. These tissues take time. It's like a broken bone. It takes weeks, even months to rehab uh, a joint which has been broken or compromised. So the floor of your foot, let me tell you what I think a healthy uh, foot should be able to do. Come and sit with me. Hopefully you're on the floor, I'm on a yoga mat, or if you're not on the floor, get on the floor. And come and sit, tuck your toes underneath you. And sit on your feet. You feel it? You should begin to feel a stretch down the base of your foot. Now, if you got plantar fasciitis, 
this might be very, very intense. You can't support your whole body weight on your pushing downs with the back of your foot. So come off and take a yoga block. If you haven't got a yoga block, like a pile of books or a rock will do. And put as much as your body weight as you need on the block. So have it at the right heights so that when you tuck your toes under, like for me, that's, if I use a whole yoga block, it's just, I don't get any stretch at all. I've been doing this for a long time. But in my book of what a healthy foot should be able to do, you should be able to sit here for five minutes. Yeah, five minutes, feeling the stretch down uh, or along the base of, your, of the sole of your foot. Now, if you can't do this, so I'm sitting in this um, pose now, if you can't do that, well, that's what a healthy foot should be able to do. It should be able to withstand that amount of stretch. If you can't do that, your foot is, base of your foot is compromised. These muscles, uh, the tendons here are compromised. When fascial and uh, uh, ligament and uh, this type of tissue gets compromised, it becomes brittle and stiff and dry. And in Chinese medicine, this means qi doesn't flow to this area. When qi doesn't flow to this area, these tissues uh, degrade and um, there's nothing good happening here. So you need to be able to find, and this is something now I'm getting to the prescription uh, stage of this little video. You need to be able to find a posture, a weight of your body, either moderating it using the yoga block or uh, books and be able to sit here for five minutes. You could, to lessen a couple of other tips, you could lean forward like this, which is less. If you are sitting on your feet. And what you want to be able to find is a place between like super intense, let's call that a 10 and boring at zero. You want to find to be able to place around a five by leaning forward, by leaning back, by using a block where you can stay here for, let's say at the beginning, particularly if you're injured, three minutes. Stay for three minutes so that the pain or the sensation is between zero and 10. It's at a sweet spot of five. And hold that for three minutes, you're not engaging the muscles. It's just a passive stretch is what you might call it. And when you are doing this, you are slowly sending the message to this part of the body that this is something that this part of the body needs to be doing. This is something that this, in this case, the tendons and the fascia of the base of your foot they need to be able to allow this stretch to happen. I call it the theory of exercise and I'm not gonna go into it in this video. I might do it in another video another time. The body has the massive ability to repair itself. But here's the thing, particularly for people, if you, if you, are, if you train a lot, if you push yourself, here's the thing. This stuff, this stretch, you might have to do for three to six months or longer every day. I'm still sitting on my feet. Sure, I feel a, a stretch down the base of, my, of the sole of my foot, but it's not like, it's not existentially um, threatening. It's not bad for me. So you should be able to sit like this, find something, maybe you lean forward if it gets too much, or you put a block under your, under your butt, so that you can feel something. Not zero, not bored, not 10. You cannot work with this tissue at 10. You have to work with it at five. You stimulate it, here's the, here's the way it works. You stimulate it for a short time, moderately, and then you relax. And there's no point you doing this more than once a day. Do it every day, maybe, uh, when you get up or just before bed and do it for three minutes. 
maybe working towards five minutes, but if you're injured, I would say three minutes. And when you come off, it should feel, it'll feel, it'll feel strong for the first 30 seconds or 40 seconds afterwards. But after that, you should feel like, hmm, that feels like a sensation maybe after a workout, like bicep curls or a run. You know, that feeling of relaxation, calm, tiredness, and certainly something has happened, but it feels good. Remember, the key to this is when you're sitting, it's not a zero, but it's not a 10. And the other key to this is time. This is gonna take three to six months if you've got really chronic issues here. And because these tissues are slow structural tissues, they're not muscular tissues or skin or hair or nails, which grow and change rapidly. They don't change rapidly. And that's just the nature of these, of these tissues. As I said, this looks like a super, super simple way. You're just passively stretching the base of your foot. But that's what these tissues need. A gentle, moderate, time-based treatment. That's it. My name is Dougal and I specialize in helping athletes, yogis, particularly high impact or triathlons, triathlete yogis, uh, CrossFit people, working with their bodies as they age so they avoid injury and if they get it, can get out of it without lotions, potions and other approaches. Go check it out, go check me out. Love to see you, I hear from you, take care.